Buenos dias. In this video, I want to talk to you about where copper comes from. And no, it doesn't come from your local hardware store. It comes from mining and geological exploration. And all the drill core that you see in front of me here, it's testing the copper potential of the mountains behind me. And those mountains are some of the highest mountains in the world, the Andes. That's the Cordillera Negra, the Black Mountains. And we're in Peru, the second largest copper producer in the world. We're here to test those mountains to see whether they can host the new and the next copper supply for the world economy, as that economy and, that, and our world moves towards electrification. Let me show you. Behind me, we have Maria Cecilia, our copper porphyry project. And today we're gonna to do some targeting to find some drill hole locations to see whether that mountain there is loaded with copper. To date, there has been over 28 million US dollars invested in the Maria Cecilia project. The historical investment has established two areas of copper and gold mineralization at the Emmanuel and Torpunto deposits that comply with Canadian resource disclosure standards. Our goal is to successfully drill for higher grade copper, gold, and zinc in the center of the mineralized trend at Maria Cecilia that would economically support development of the entire copper system. But before we do anything, we secure mineral titles with the Peruvian government. We consult with local communities to develop relationships and to determine whether we can establish surface access agreements. And then over several years, an environmental assessment program is completed. As the world moves to electrification, the demand for copper is going to increase significantly. Currently, the world produces about 23 to 25 million tons of copper a year, but that's going to grow to over 30 million tons and up to 50 million tons of copper by the year 2050. To supply only 1 million tons of copper to the world would require 2 to 10 successful exploration projects like Maria Cecilia. The company has completed surface work for the last five years that demonstrates copper mineralization at surface and subsurface geophysics that suggests potential for large-scale mineralization. With this geological information, community support, and a new environmental DIA permit in hand, we are ready to diamond drill Maria Cecilia for the first time. We're here at Porphyry Zone, and we can see green copper oxides in veinlets. Only drilling can determine the mineralization potential of a new discovery, followed by detailed engineering studies. These are the risks and associated costs to find a new copper deposit. The world is moving to electrification, uh, and copper is one of the most important metals for that electrification. And this type of deposit is where that copper is going to come from. 